You know where we are, right? Well, guess what this is? This is my Jim Lee Elevator's Elevator Collection Display. Today we're going to be doing a full updated tour of my elevator collection. It has been a while since I've done videos of this, almost like around a year already maybe, so. I was going to do it yesterday, but due to stuff I had and my batteries during that time were already going dead, so I thought today would be a good time to do this. As you move up, as we start off on the top shelf, this right here is a dog. A toy dog for Christmas. My vintage Otis hard hat right there. Which I got the same logo as my Otis globe. Down there that's my ThyssenKrupp elevator safety goggle. And a ThyssenKrupp elevator cone. This right here is a homecoming crown. A sketch picture of me I did when I was in 7th grade. Now as we move down here, this is my Schindler clip, which is one of my very first elevator parts I got on my birthday about seven years ago. My senior ribbon with a ThyssenKrupp elevator pin, a Clements High School mum, and a gum wrapper from a couple of my friends that says, once I get to the focus, it says dare, hit a random button on a public elevator and go exploring. This is a really nice little phrase little sentence right there that is definitely gonna fit in my elevator collection but it's not public so you know this right here is my Otis magnetic card I made and the big king ribbon for my homecoming king nomination Jim for king and then a winner medal that I got from the dodgeball earlier this year ago and now as we move into the main the first shelf in the main display this is the God Made You special birthday card that my family made me on my birthday earlier this year ago. A letter from Carolyn's sister Annie for this wonderful elevator keychain that I got when I won Homecoming King last year. A cute baby picture of me up right there. And this is something I can't really thank enough. I want to cover my mother's face because sometimes I don't want to show my mother for any privacy reasons. This right here is a news article from Hope for Three that did a story on me when I went when I won the Homecoming King. If you want to pause, if you want to read, pause the video right now. And here is the whole picture of it if you want to see. And this right here is a picture of Carolyn and I. I think that's what I call a bookmark. I don't know what that kind of little paper is, um, but this is the picture Carolyn and I we took at the special prom in the photo booth. As you move to the left here, this right here is a Caesar Otis high-rise fornicator from China. An Otis Lexan elevator call station that I made out of paper, which kind of seen better days. But I do love these California-coded Lexan buttons. And look at this down button right here. Look at this down button. Look at that. Came from red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Look at that. It's just awesome, isn't it? My dad did a wonderful job with this. Anyways, this right here is my ThyssenKrupp elevator hoistway access key switch with the ThyssenKrupp elevator pin on top. And on the bottom is a Clements Earth Fair button I got from a really good friend whose name is Celine. Celine, thank you so much. This is wonderful. And I really do need to address very seriously about elevator keys. If I could get it out. There we go. I have recently noticed that there's few people on YouTube using elevator keys without permission. Let me tell you this. Tampering with key switches is strictly prohibited. It can cause serious inconvenience to other people who need to use the elevator especially in public places. If a building owner caught you doing this or any building members who works there, you could be asked to, to not come back again, which in other words, you could be ejected from the facility and be asked never to come back because you are doing something to their elevator that nobody gave you permission to do so. And if you have keys at home, 
it must remain at home. It should not leave your house under any circumstances. So just remember that. I know we have already talked about this a lot already. Let's put that thing back in. And it works just fine. This right here is my low rise Caesar Otis Flornicator. This right here is a Chinese elevator car switch. A Dover Impulse Elevator Button from Andrew, Diesel Ducey, which is in, which is broken. Look at that. See? So focus. See, it's broken. Um, I dropped it like three days after I got this about earlier this year ago. This right here on top is an, is an Asian Otis, Asian Caesar Otis Elevator Monitor. And down there is... A baseball board marking the 10 year anniversary and those two right there are the ThyssenKrupp elevator pieces. A ThyssenKrupp elevator USB flash drive. An Asian elevator gear system. A Mickey Mouse head right next to my vintage 1950s Otis black buttons. These buttons right there are from Andrew Reams, YouTube user Diesel Ducey. In case of anyone who don't know that person, go check out his website at elevatorfan.com and also go subscribe to him if you have YouTube channels at youtube.com slash user slash diesel in case if you guys are interested. Anyways, as we move here, this is my, my art medal I won from the vase, a ThyssenKrupp elevator coin, a Kone keychain. This right there is an Otis Gen 2 elevator selector, and this tells the description of it. Pause, you want to read that? And as you move down here, this is one of everyone's favorite ThyssenKrupp elevator button from the folks at ThyssenKrupp Elevator Americas. Go to www.safetyambassadors.com if you want to be interested in participating in ThyssenKrupp Safety Ambassadors team. If you want to be if you want to be in the Safety Ambassadors Club, just go to www.safetyambassadors.com if you want to get this button. Or if you want to get any parts like my like the t-shirt. Anyways, those two right there are are the ThyssenKrupp elevator notepad and the keychain. A Mickey Mouse little card paper from Disney World. Now as we move down here, this is this in the back is my big Otis elevator board tells you how to fix it. It's very vintage, like around like um from the 1920s or something, not sure. Anyways, as you move here, this is my celebration button from Disney World, the Magic Kingdom. And this is something I recently got from Skeeter Stadium. The fine folks at Skeeter Stadium. A Skeeter sticker. Big thank you, Skeeters, for all this present. And a Valentine's candy from the from uh, my bus driver I had last year. And this right here is a battle hall button from UT Austin. And this right here is a Tower of Terror elevator pin right there with an Asian elevator cable that's holding on to it. That tape right there has seen better days. Anyways, this right here is my MCE mouse pad. And these are the elevator safety stickers right here. An Otis elevator metal part from the shaft. A limit switch. I don't know what those two things are called, but they are from the machine room and they are Otis. This right here is a European Otis Gen 2 elevator keychain from Carolyn. My MCE elevator yo-yo and a big Otis sign right there, which this is my Otis brochure. Everyone's favorite ThyssenKrupp Signa 4 elevator call station. And they do light up. So the down button is, which is barely working. Alright, now as we move down here. This picture inside that poster is a picture of me. Back in 2008 when I first started my very first baseball game. And this right here is a picture of Carolyn and I, a special prom. Another Caesar Otis 
elevator monitor. And let me show you something here. Look at this Innovation Industries Inc. elevator button. This was my very first ever elevator piece I got seven years ago on my birthday. This is another one of my very first elevator pieces. Also, this elevator button is very special to me as well because it has also started my YouTube career about like four or five years ago right now. Innovation bruiser button from Innovation Industries which the light is barely working. Another Innovation bruiser and then an Innovation Premier. A newer one. This right there are the elevator signs, the stickers. This right here is a picture of me and Caroline at the prom again featuring an EPCO door open button from the Fulbright Tower. And a Mitsubishi door open door close button from China. An American Acme Florinicator. An elevator electronic device from the machine room. And this right here is a Cesia Otis elevator button. This is another one of my first elevator pieces as well. As well, my Schindler rubber truck. And this right here is another limit switch, which is made by Omron. And I'm pretty sure YouTube user IDLive3000 would give me more information about the um, about all these Asian elevator companies. And speaking of Yvonne, aka IDLive3000, today is his birthday, so I want to give him a birthday shout out in this video. So, Yvonne, happy birthday! I oh, forgot to show one last thing is my ThyssenKrupp elevator coaster. Now as we move over here, this is another special piece from a really good friend of mine named Jorge. This is my Adams car operating panel from one of the low rise elevators at the Chevron Tower in downtown Houston, Texas. Jorge. Thank you so much. This is really awesome. And that right there is the title for this for all this display. This right here is a scaff from my Homecoming King nomination. And now we conclude this tour, this updated tour with a really special birthday card that says my YouTube channel name. This gift right there are two of my awesome friends who are in the cheerleading program, Savannah and Jackie. Savannah and Jackie, this is by far one of the best birthday presents I ever got in my whole entire life. This really means so much to me. So, Jackie and Savannah, I have to say a big thank you for this wonderful gift. It, it really, you nearly just really touched my delightful life. And as you open it up, this right here is the cab interior. Where it says, Happy Birthday, Jim, in the back wall. The car operating panel right here. And this right here is the birthday letter from the two friends. Pause, you want to read that? All right, let's close it up. So, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this updated tour of my elevator collection. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hope you all have a great rest of the day. With that being said, this concludes it all.